When we've made an adjustment layer, automatically this little box comes up right here. And what this is called is a mask. What's a mask, you ask? Well, I would draw the analogy if you were painting a room and you wanted to keep certain areas of the painting of uh, the room pristine in other words you didn't want the paint the effect of the paint to go on those areas you might use masking tape you would mask off certain areas of the wall and then you'd run your paintbrush and you could be as sloppy as you want to be and it wouldn't affect those areas that you'd masked off well photoshop allows us to mask off anything that we do in layers. And this is a very exciting and very powerful tool. Let's take an example, let's take a look at this. This is a photograph my wife took when she was back in Maine on vacation. And when I created the level uh, change, it automatically gave us a mask. And right now, this mask is white. And <clears throat> if we click the Alt key and click on that, you'll see that what we have is a very is a plain white mask there's nothing in it and the rule with masks is that white reveals and black conceals and if we alt click that again we'll go back to where we were so we can actually look at the photo and not the mask so the white is revealing the change that we made in levels Let's just make a drastic looking change here so it looks obvious. We'll make that sky kind of more blue. So this mask is not doing anything. But we, when we select a layer, and you select a layer by clicking on it, so we click right on the layer itself, and you can see it's, it's got little lines around it, so it's selected. Now you'll notice that your uh, paint palette for foreground and background are black and white. This little this little uh, icon right here switches the foreground and the background. So right now we'd be painting with white, right now we're painting with black. And black is indeed what we want to paint with. I'm going to select the brush and we're, I'm going to increase the size of my brush and we're going to say, hey, we like the way this blue came out in this photo but the rocks are way too dark. So let's go ahead and paint with black. And we're painting with black, you can see here. And by the way, there's a shortcut. X will let you go back and forth between the two colors. And D ought to always selects the default. So I'm going to go ahead and press X. And I'm going to paint with black. And I'm going to paint those rocks so that they're back the way they were before. And I'm going to actually increase the size of my brush. I use the bracket keys to increase the size of my brush. And I'm just going to paint right on there. Now what am I doing? Being kind of careful there towards the edge. Because I kind of like that water being dark blue like that. Well, what am I doing? Well, look up here at the levels now. You'll notice if we press Alt and click, what we've created is a mask. None of the effect of the levels is going to be down in this region, and all of the effect of the levels is going to be up in this region. I'm going to click over here to get back, and <clears throat> we've now done two things to our document that we couldn't have done without the layers option. The first thing we've done is that we made a non-destructive change to the document. We can go in anytime we want now and we can edit that. We can say, oh, we want we want it to look a little darker still. Okay. And we've also masked off that effect so that a good portion of that document, the rocks here, are just like they were in the original document. Let's test that by unchecking the layer, the layer uh, visibility icon. And so sure enough, the sky darkens up and the rocks pretty much stay the same. Now this this is my father here on the rocks. And my father's sitting there thinking about why don't I have my camera? And I'm going to brighten him up just a little bit. 
And usually when you're working with masks, you want to be as careful as possible. So you want to go in, and you can see I've been sloppy here. I'm going to select my brush again. I'm going to go down here to a smaller size. Make sure I have, I have black, so I'm going to change it to white because I want to knock out this little fringing. It was a little bit too quick with a big brush. And I'm going to go back to black and see if I can't lighten up his face. And, you know, you may think, I'm not a painter. I can't use paint in, in Photoshop. That's, But this has nothing to do with being artistic. This has, just has to do with being careful. See, I've overshot a little bit. And I'm using, my brush is a fairly soft-edged brush, um, but I can make it more soft so that it doesn't have such a hard edge. All right, let's just say that's good enough. And uh, so that's the first lesson on layers, uh, that we have this uh, ability, I'm going to go back to Zoom, to create non-destructive changes that uh, allow us to selectively modify our photograph um, and mask off areas that we don't want that effect to go in.